before this video starts i want to talk about the grammys i want to talk about the best rap album of the year the tyler creator one which i am so happy about if you guys are not interested in that here's a time step here to just skip to the review but uh yeah anyway i'm happy that tyler creator won best rap album of the year with igor i actually was a little bit scared and worried that he wasn't gonna win that was probably gonna be um 21 savage or j cole or meek mill i think it was in a list but uh, yeah i thought one of them were gonna win because i know that tyler isn't necessarily the most mainstream uh, artist out there of like a rap like a rapper but yeah even though the album was miscategorized i still applaud him because i loved igor i enjoyed every single song there it was just so good so congrats to, um, for tyler but i also want to talk about his thoughts on winning the grammy awards which he communicated with the press and he said that he, at the same time he feels like it's a backhand compliment and also that he feels like he's just really happy but I like that he says that just because I'm a rapper and oh, and I'm categorized as a rapper, uh, they think that my new album is all about rap, but it isn't. It's actually kind of pop. I actually had to 100% agree with that because the album actually, even though it does have like genre bending album, it does have some elements from pop, R&B, uh, you know, so a lot of like different of these a, a lot of different categories. I still think that pop was the category that mostly overtook this album, but they could have like probably given it a uh, best pop album of the year or just best album of the year in general because it was that good. And also, if they just can't classify, just put in that category but anyway um, i just really want to talk about tyler's thought it was just really interesting what he had to say and i just had to 100 percent agree what tyler said so lil wayne the funeral dropped um this ain't it chief look i try i tried my my hardest to enjoy this album i just cannot enjoy this album whatsoever so a year and a half ago we got to see the carter five which i've actually never heard the carter albums before or five dropped i decided to just um listen to more Lil wayne music and all i think it was an okay album i didn't necessarily love it or whatnot i thought it was okay pretty long but just okay to be honest and now fast forward to the funeral which i i don't know man like all right, I'm not gonna do this like original, like like how I did with the M Eminem music to be murdered by what I usually do with album reviews with track by track. I'm gonna, this, since this is like a 24 track album, it's probably gonna take 20 or 30 minutes and I don't wanna necessarily waste your time. I'm gonna try to simple it down to the best and worst tracks and tracks that I think I should just talk about here and elements that I criticize it on. And, there is a van right now just blasting reggaeton. Wow. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's just start with it. Best tracks. So the first track, Funeral. I like the instruments. I like the string that is playing, that piano that it does it kind of sad and mellow. And his lyrics, um, how he's describing about friend of him that passed away. And that even though if the friend of him passed away and he was associated with the gangs, there's still gang wars going on. So even though um, somebody dies, there's still going to be some other people in, uh, like associated with the gang. And that's why he says when the when the casket is on them closed and all, there's still like uh, war is going. I enjoyed uh, what he had to say in that track. I think it was an excellent intro from uh the album i thought it was gonna go pretty well from here but it unfortunately wasn't even though the first three tracks are bangers i loved uh, mahayomi i thought it was this lil wayne just og lil wayne type of thing it was so fun i like the rhyme how he rhymes all those words together it is so fun and playful fun beat that he that he raps over and mama mia was a really interesting song with that melody that at first i was a little bit skeptical because it was like haunting and all and i was like kind of hard to bop my head into but then Lil Wayne just comes again with that flow and destroys that beat I just love it and the ending which is just slow down and sounds dark and even more grimmier No, you know featuring um two chains I thought it was a fun track a lot of the best tracks in here in my opinion are just like really fun tracks or sometimes Lil Wayne plays with his flow or the beat just goes super hard but uh yeah anyway I liked uh two chains verse I liked Harden which is obviously a reference to James Harden the basketball player I like the line that he says uh, the, this girl is blocking him like James Harden because James Harden is a really good defender in the NBA um, and the track uh, decent beat I like the beat I like his flow I, I think he delivers a pretty good verse and this track dark side what, what really i liked about dark side was the beat i think that goes super hard lil wayne's uh versinal was good but i think what really 
caught most of my attention was the instrumental. The beat just went super hard. And uh, yeah, it was a short track. Um, I thought I, I wanted to hear more of it. And so it's two minutes and 20 seconds. Maybe if it was like a, like a three minute song and all, I would have probably enjoyed it even more. But still, what can I say? It was a decent track. I like the, the track Bastard. I think that song is just, I like the metaphor he uses in that track that like um, his parents didn't like him that much and that he feels like a bastard. He feels lonely. He feels like he's just an evil child that uh, nobody really loves him. Like he's just like the son of Satan or something. He just really feels evil. And the final track, Wayne's World. I actually like that track a lot. I like how he's describing it. Like um, he made it, he, he finally got achieved his status, you know, uh, he achieved his popular status and he's just describing like, oh, it's like my world. It's like Wayne's world. It's he kind of like the imagination of like a little kid. That's what he's like kind of, kind of picturing for like a celebrity. Uh, sort of aspect now time for negative part. I already said the best parts Time for negative parts. There are a lot of the negative parts start with the worst tracks um, dreams I I Just can't listen to that song. Oh my god that singing the, the thing with the thing with Lil Wayne in this album is that he experiments more with auto-tune and Sometimes it could be good and sometimes it can just be trash like like, like pretty bad. Dreams was definitely a candidate for the trash one. I just did not like his singing. You know, it was just off. I just didn't like it. It was just kind of terrible. And trust nobody with the feature of Adam Levine. I thought that the chorus a little bit too repetitive. And for me, I don't think the song just really striked me lyrically. I just think it was kind of plain and just really boring to be honest. And I was just waiting for the track to be over. And get out of my head featuring X Sex Tentacion. I think that track was. Unnecessary really like I did not enjoy X's part at all. I hate I don't know why but I just hate XX Tentacion's verse in here It's just so annoying. It's like extremely like a uh, angry uh, Verse that he lays in here with Lil Wayne the Lil Wayne auto-tune just kind of gets messy too much It feels like so Disoriented it feels just kind of like terrible really it's just it's not that great and never mind we we hear Lil Wayne again with the auto-tune which is so off singing into this guitar popish sort of beat and I just did not enjoy this either I just I also wish for this track to just end immediately and then not to be as long as it was I just it was unnecessary to add this track to be honest a line and up which is the beat is produced by Murder Beats. The thing that really distracted me from here wasn't necessarily Wayne. It was mostly the beat, like the beat with the sample of the that thing just really ruined the whole thing for me. I thought I, I, I thought uh, Wayne rapping over the beat just kind of felt weird, but I just was not focused on his lyrics that much. Even replaying this song more and more, I just still can't really enjoy the track whatsoever. I think the beat was just a little bit too distracting. So yeah, other bad things for this album was that there are so many fillers here. There's so many tracks in here that just, if they were removed, it would have been even better. And just, it, it just feels that Wayne is trying to stretch this album even more because it's 24 tracks and just felt like it could have been done in less than 24 tracks. In my opinion, if you just cut out the unnecessary tracks that just don't really add anything, in there like the um songwriting is just kind of plain and sometimes it could get a little bit boring at times it just feels like it just shouldn't be there whatsoever but yeah also another thing another problem that i had here was with the whole narrative thing the funeral thing it already gets lost in like its second uh song even though i like the second song that was catchy and all so I think the narrative of a funeral and all is kind of lost throughout these 24 tracks since it completely abandons it even though it sometimes just says the title just so it can stay a little bit more relevant so they can be all oh, right the funeral thing I forgot also I want to talk about Bing James I thought that that track was okay um J-Rock delivers an okay verse it was apparently a Kobe Bryant tribute which also rest in peace Kobe Bryant um I'm praying for um, his family and all and just rest in peace and also his daughter and everybody, the, the victims in the helicopter crash, rest in peace. But yeah, um, it's apparently supposed to be a Kobe, uh, Kobe Bryant tribute. Uh, it wasn't like necessarily originally going to be that, it was just apparently after his death he decided to add that. But yeah, um, I can understand why this was a Kobe Bryant tribute because he talks about the Lakers uh, starting the pills and all that stuff. 
uh, the purple and uh, yellow ones, like feel like Lakers. And also, because apparently the end of that track is a 24 minute silence, uh, 24 second uh, silence, and I was like, why is there just 24 seconds of silence? And I, the more I research in this track, it's apparently supposed to be like a moment of silence for Kobe Bryant. And just makes sense, really. It really does make sense. But yeah, this album definitely just, it kind of felt rush. It felt like Lil Wayne just wanted to just put as many tracks in here and just make a long album just so some of them could just be number one Billboard um, hits. And I felt like, uh, as I was saying, I felt like it was rushed. Not a lot of time was went into this. I mean, this was announced like, what, a few months ago or something? And I, I remember that the Carter 5 took years to make, even though it wasn't necessarily anything special. I still enjoy it definitely way more than this album, than Funeral, definitely. I think Funeral should have just been more time, more consideration, just the track listing and all, and just eliminating some tracks in here because they were just kind of fillers and just served no, no purpose in this album whatsoever. And I felt some tracks just, they didn't hit they didn't hit for me was they didn't really strike me as uh, good or anything but yeah what do i give low wayne funeral i will give this album a four out of ten but yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to hit that like button down below also remember to subscribe the notification bell remember this is only my opinion let's have a little discussion down in the comments down below what did you feel about this album let me know what album should i review and anyway peace out everybody